Hello people, this is Barrett, and today we're going to take a look at what is the expected pet value of Fusion Stride. Well, you might think, well, that's nothing new. Many people have done it back in the past, back in the days. You, you can just update prices. Well, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at both raw card prices as well as we'll consider into the model PSA graded cards. That's what we've done with Chrome Zenith, that what we, that's what we did with Lost Origin. And that's what we are going to do with Fusion Strike today. So before we get started, just uh, give me, allow me a minute to just give a, a few announcements here. First one is that we're going to do a Fusion Strike pack break. There's going to be 50 packs, 12 have already been claimed. So if you want to join, it's three euros per pack and uh, we'll be breaking them live as soon as they sell out, hopefully this weekend. And uh, the packs come from... Uh, what is going to be, let's say, a sponsor of the channel, which will provide us with the best prices for Pokemon Sealed product in the whole European Union. So that's going to be pretty exciting that I managed to actually get the best prices in all of the EU. And um, and obviously, don't forget to join the Discord if you want to stay updated. We talk daily. We talk about Pokemon. We have fun as well as if you want to join the packs break, that's where you can just reach out to me. So now let's briefly talk about the sealed product for Fusion Strike. So Fusion Strike, as you can see here, with boosters, there's a pretty significant volume at 320. However, they are weighted, so they're searched. If you look for at least what people claim to be unweighted, then you need to go into the 335 to 340 to find some volume. And I can see here the most volume you find it had three euros and fifty cents, which is considerably lower than what I'm selling them at. And uh, take a look at the American market. As you can see here, we have Sleeve Booster at five dollars. And then actually, if you also take a look at Singular Lose Boosters, they are listed. Lowest listed are at uh, four hundred dollars. Uh, not 400, obviously, uh, $4.50, as you can see here. And there's just not many. You, you find a lot of volume at $4.75. So no matter if you're in the U or in the US, three euros per pack, I would say it's the best prices out there, at least uh, what, what I could find. So hopefully many of you will join and we'll have more coming in the future. Next one is going to be Temporal Forces at two euros per pack from a sealed box. Now that being said, now that being said, a quick look at the booster box prices. So here on Co Market we have the lowest listed between 200 and 220 euros. However, they are from the UK, so they're not in the European Union. And if you're in the European Union, you're gonna have to pay customs, which is roughly 20% depending on where you live. But it's rough. A good estimate is 20% on top of these prices, which. If we are in the European Union, lowest listed for 225 euros from an Italian seller, and then they go up already at 260 euros. So they're pretty pricey. And uh, here, two listed at 259. And then if we need to look at some volume, we have 275 euro seller with three boxes. Now let's take a look at what's going on in the American market. So let's go back here and let's go back to the first page. By the way, if you want to stay updated with all the boxes, all the main, the hottest set in the markets. And if you want to know how many there are on the market, both on car market and TG players, so both the American and the European market, I do that on a monthly video. I count the boxes and I keep track of how prices evolve over time. So if you click on my face, it should be popping up right now the video where, where I do that. And it's going to be obviously the latest update from, from this month of April. So the, enough being said, as you can see here, Price market, mar market price, not price market, is $240 and it is selling for uh, $240. As you can see here, that's also where the lowest listed are $240, $245 shipped. Now, enough has been said, let's get into the main part of the video. So, briefly, just going back over what are the most expensive cards in the set. And obviously, the, the Gengar and the Esprit are the most sought after. And then we have the Mew. And to be honest, the Celebi V. Uh, Altart is one of my favorites. I actually preferred this over maybe, maybe the Aspion. The Aspion. I'm not a big fan of Gengar myself. I do like the Aspion, but I'm a pretty big fan of this LBV. Um, the artwork I think is amazing. At this point, point, you, you're basically getting uh, a well cheap for some, and not so cheap for others. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I would 
definitely say a gorgeous card for your collection. And then here, as you can see here, we drop right in Polarize and we're still in the secret rare page. Now, again, enough being said, let's get into the data. So let's bring up the Excel spreadsheet. So let's get rid of that onto the spreadsheet. There we go. So this is pretty much raw. I haven't had it a lot because I want you guys for to play around with it. You can have the numbers and you can play with it. So let's get straight into it as there are as always some assumption to be said and it's important that we state them out. So I divided them by how they were listed uh, with the pull rate data, which I gathered from uh, a source on Reddit, which seems to be pretty reliable. Now you say Barrett, you look at Reddit. Well, there, there weren't really that much data available and that source seemed to be pretty reliable. Also, so that's what we are going to work with today. And, and market prices are market price for today, which is April 16th, 2024. And they are gathered from TC players from the American market. Everything is in US dollars. So simply ultra rare, ultra rare VMAX, regular full art, which is also in the ultra rare uh, category. And then alternative art V, which also is as well in the ultra rare category, but it's let's say a section all of its own. And then we have all down here, we have all the secret, color rare secret, rainbow secret, and then alt art VMAX secret rare. So <coughs> there's not really much to say. What it, it is to say is that uh, obviously when this is the average is the mean, uh, the mean, the estimator for the mean is the sample mean. Uh, now, right, you can say, Bear, what are you talking about? Well, if you're not in, in the job, if you're not familiar with it, sample mean is basically the, what is also called the arithmetic mean. You take all of these and then uh, we are assuming that they're equally distributed. What, bear, what did you just say? It's very, it's very simple. Equal distributed means pulling a, let's say a Gengar VMAX from this. So we're, we're taking the ultra rare VMAX rarity, pulling a Gengar, has a simple probability of pulling a Mew. Pulling a Mew, as a simple ability of pulling a Chandelier VMAX. So within a cer certain rarity slot, pulling any card within this slot, so within the Ultra Rare VMAX, Ultra Rare V, Regular Full Art, Alternative Art V, has the same probability. So pulling a Celebi V, Alt Art, has the same probability of pulling a Mu V. Now, Barry, you, you may ask me, Barry, is that true? Is that how it works? Well, not really, but if you take a large enough sample, and if nothing is short printed, and if no card is short printed, that's that's how uh, the big number game should play. But again, staying out, that's the assumption we're gonna work with today. So that being said, we're taking the average, the we're estimating the mean with a simple mean, but that's nerdy talk. Uh, you, if you don't know me guys, I'm a mathematician, so I like to state everything out. I like to be as real as possible, but I understand that uh, while trying to be clear, I can be confusing. So that's very important, blah, blah, blah. We talked about this and simply here, raw cards data. These are the pool rate, which I stated where I got them from. And the expected per value is 95 cents. Not much really. And uh, now PSA data, not, I'm sure you already jumped to the conclusion that the expected per value is $1 and 41 cents, which is true. But here, what I'm just gonna state out, which these are also very important because it can create confusion, the assumption that I made when gathering this data. So basically the assumption we're gonna work with is that we're only considering PSA nine and tens, and we're assuming that we have a minty pack, it's not damaged, we're gonna pull a card, freshly pulled, we're gonna send it, we're not gonna look at it, we're gonna send it, and it's gonna get either a nine or a 10, which is, is that realistic? Well. Here is one shield in quality, it, it could be a good estimation. Now, in order for this data to, to, to work, in order for actually calculate when here we're calculating the expected value of a graded Gengar, when considering PSA 10 and 9 ratio, we're assuming that everyone else is the same. Otherwise, well, this what we're doing would be stupid. I'm, I'll try to explain myself better. Let's take the Gengar. It has a 60% chance of getting a PSA 10, all the considering nine and tens. Now, when doing that, 
we don't know the people that send the Gengar. We don't know why they send it. We don't know if they screened the card. They said they thought it was perfect, perfect centering, perfect, perfect surface, blah, 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 blah. We don't know if they send it just like us. Uh, they didn't even look at it freshly out of a, of a pack. They send it. We don't know if they bought them somewhere um, on TG Player, Car Market, or whatever. We don't know. So in not knowing, we're assuming that they did the same as us. So that's how it allows us to work with this data set. And uh, basically, is that realistic? Not really, but that's what we need to assume. Furthermore, I want to point that out, it's very important. All the people that look at pulp reports, and let's say again, let's take again the Gengar, let's say 16% of the time you're gonna get a 10. People that say, oh, the Gengar has a 66% PSA 10 rate. Well, if you're gonna send it, you know, you can do the math, 60% of the time you're going to get a 10. That's stupid. That's really stupid. Uh, I don't know why people say that. And it's why I just said why, because simply, you don't know the people who send the Gengar to get graded. You don't know why they send them. You know, if they screen them, all of them they did, you don't know. So saying that 60% of the time you're going to get a 10, pretty stupid, because if I'm, I'm telling you, I can let I can send a hundred cards, all damage. There, six of them are not going to get a ten. So, yeah. That being said, let's get into the the core of the video. I I mean I know you already looked at this this number here, which is special pack value, but staying out the assumption was very important. So simply, there's not really much to say. Here is the special pack value. Uh, sorry, the expected value of every card graded. And simply you get the 9 and 10 prices, which are the most recent sales on eBay, both at auction and best offer. I mainly look at auctions. And then here, you simply again, the pr probability of getting a 9 or a 10, get that number here. And also I consider, as you can see here, this 15 is the cost of grading for the lowest tier. So I've also considered that into the equation. Don't worry. And here, that's what you get. So... As simple as that, just wanted to make it simple, um, didn't want to make it fancy, so you, you, you can you can work with this data and play around if you want. So it's pretty low, I'm not gonna lie, and here you see, because if you do this number times 36, no, that's not possible. So it's this times 36, you get $50. So $50 should be the uh, fair, expect. I mean, the expected value of a booster box. If you get a booster box, you open it on average, you should get $50 uh, in value out of it. Well, it's at over 200. So you see here the difference, the discrepancy between a sealed box and just the value inside the box. That's when you start to get, you can see here the booster box premium that starts to build up. And that's the same for Lost Origin, which we did in the previous video, which uh, I'll leave you right here. So again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the Discord. Subscribe if you don't want to miss out on the next update. Let me know what you think about this format, if you enjoyed it or not. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.